Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the combination of capacitors. The criterion for determining the equivalent capacitance is that the terminal conditions of the equivalent capacitors are same as those of the actual capacitor bank. So, the terminal conditions must remain same in both the cases. Then in that case, we can tell that whatever the analysis we have made is correct. So, what are the terminal conditions we have to make this thing same is the terminal voltages are same the first criteria we have to satisfy and the second one the charges on the plates connected to the terminals must be equal the charges on the terminals must be equal so if these conditions are fulfilled then equivalent circuit whatever we are calculating the energy stored will be same because we know the energy stored will be equal to half cv square where c is equal to q divided by v so the it depends on the charge as well as the voltage so if these conditions are prevailing same then we can tell the energy stored is same or our analysis is same so let us take the case of the capacitors in series So, here I am writing on a glass screen. So, the handwriting will not come properly. So, that is why I prefer to write minimum theory on this screen. So, I am providing the link for the material in the description below. You can, there is a Google Drive link there. You can download the complete handwritten material from there. So, here you try to understand whatever concepts I am teaching. So, let us assume I have a set of the capacitors. They are connected in series like this. So, let us assume three capacitors are connected. This is having C1, C2 and C3. So, this is connected to some voltage source. So, let us assume this voltage source is V plus minus because we know in a series circuit the current will be same. When the current is same automatically the charge accumulated on all these plates will be same. So, this will be same only this will be plus Q minus Q this will be plus Q minus Q again this will be plus Q1 minus Q. So, let us assume voltage divided across this capacitor is V1 across this capacitor is V2 and voltage divided across this capacitor is V3. So, this equivalent one, I want to calculate the equivalent value of capacitance and the terminal condition should remain same. So, voltage plus minus is there. So, here it will be plus Q only in the equivalent capacitance, here it will be minus Q and let C is the resultant value of the capacitance. So, if all the capacitors are connected in series, so we can tell that the value of V1 is equal to Q divided by C1 and similarly the value of V2 will be I can write as Q2 divided by C2 because charge is same here it can take as Q. So, similarly the value of V3 will be equal to Q divided by C3. So, the terminal voltage V will be the sum of the voltage drop. So, we can write V1 plus V2 plus V3. So, this I can write as Q times of 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Okay, this I want to equate to the second condition. So, in the second condition you can see in this case I can write that the value of the voltage, the value of voltage will be equal to Q divided by some let us assume the charge is C. So, let us take this as equation number 2. So, in both cases it should be same. So, we can tell that this Q by C will be equal to Q multiplied by 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. This is what we get. So, from this I can tell that 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So, this is the combination of the capacitance. So, in the case of series combination, we can tell the total capacitance will be the combination is less than that of the individual thing that is inverse to that of the resistance. Please remember this. However, the voltage rating of the combination is more than that of the individual unit because voltage rating will be more than the actual value of the individual unit whereas the capacitance is decreased. So, overall it will compensate and your net energy in both the cases will be same. So, to understand this clearly, let us take one example. I am just assuming that three capacitors are connected in series. So, one, two, three capacitors are connected in series. So, let us assume the voltage applied. So, voltage applied I am taking as some 10 volts is applied. The value of each capacitance let us take as 1 farad. Practically the units will be in micro farad to make the calculation easy. I am just taking it as 1 farad. So, let us assume the voltage drop across this one is V1, V2 and V3. So, this is what we get. So, we can calculate the value of V1. V1 will be equal to Q divided by C1. Similarly, V2 will be equal to Q divided by C2 and V3 is equal to Q divided by C3. In series combination Q are same and here in this example the capacitance also same. So, we can tell that V1 is equal to 
V2 is equal to V3. So, all these voltages are equal to one third of your total voltage. So, you agree with me? So, it will become equal to one third of your total voltage. Now, let us try to calculate how much energy is stored in the total capacitance. It will be equal to half times of C into V1 square plus half times of C into V2 square plus half times of C into V3 square. This I can write like that. So, this will become half times of the value of the capacitance is 1 and the value of the voltage is one third of the total value. So, let it be total voltage be V. One third whole square plus 1 by 2 times of one third whole square plus 1 by 2 times of one third whole square. This is what we get. So, this I can write as 3 times of 1 by 2 times of 1 by 3 into 3. So, 3, 3 this will cancel this will become 1 by 6. So, this is the energy we got. Let us see in the equivalent circuit the energy is same or not what changes are happening. So, this I want to represent by the equivalent circuit. So, where the total voltage applied is 10 volts only then in that case the capacitance is C so that the same charge will come. So, you have seen that equivalent capacitance 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So, total value becomes equal to 3. So, from this I can tell my equivalent capacitance is now equal to 1 by 3 farad. So, the equivalent capacitance is decreased. Now, let us try to calculate the energy. Energy will be equal to half C into V square. So, in this case half into the C is decreased now. C is decreased to 1 third farads only. But whereas the voltage is now reached to your supply voltage. The voltage will be reaching to your supply voltage. So, that is the advantage. So, it is reached V square. So, in this case also you can see here this will become 1 by 6 times of V square. 1 by 6 times of V square because same thing is obtained here also, same thing is obtained here also. So, how the energy is remaining same? The energy is remaining same because the equivalent value of the capacitance may be decreasing because but the voltage is increasing because the half C V square is maintained same in both the circuits. So, in this way the energy balance is taken place. So, that is why we can prove that the series value of the capacitance will be 1 by C is equal to 1 by C 1 plus 1 by C 2 plus 1 by C 3. So, let us see the capacitors in parallel. So, when the capacitors are connected in parallel, let us take there is a voltage V plus minus, this is connected to some capacitors. Let us take a set of 3 capacitors. So, 3 capacitors are there. So, let us take this value of the capacitance. These are 3 C1, C2 and C3. So, now whatever the current that comes, that current will divide among these 3. That means, we can tell the charges will be different. The charges will be depending on the value of the capacitances there. This will be plus Q1. Let us take it as minus Q1. This is plus Q2 and minus Q2 and plus Q3 and minus Q3. This is what is plates are charged. So, this I want to replace with the equivalent value. So, this equivalent value of the capacitance is here. So, this is my equivalent value which is having plus minus some Q. So, the voltage is V. So, how to write the equivalent value? So, we can tell the value of this Q1 will be depending on the voltage because Q is equal to C into V. So, I can use that principle V into C1. Similarly, I can write Q2 is equal to V into C2, I think and Q3 is equal to V into C3. So, the total charge on the capacitance that Q in the resultant value I can tell that Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 that is the total charge because we know the total charge should remain same in both the equivalent circuit. That is why I am calculating. So, this I can write as V into C1 plus C2 plus C3. So, this should be equal to the second circuit. In the second circuit, it will be equal to V into C or from this I can tell that C is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. C is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. So, you can see here whenever you do the parallel combination, in the parallel combination, the resultant value of the capacitance is more than the individual capacitance. But if you calculate the overall energy by taking the similar type of example, you will observe the total energy stored will be same in both the equivalent combinations. The energy stored is not changed and it is not going to affect. So, the basic thing I am just concluding. So, whenever you want to do the parallel parallel or series combination of the capacitors, you have to take care that the terminal voltages should be same in both the combinations as well as the charge on the plates connected to the terminals must be same. The charge should not change. Overall charge or the net charge should be same. So, that is not that should not be affected. So, I hope the combination of the capacitors is completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.